Oh, good morning. Let's do a loft, a loft feature. So um, thought I had a video of this and it turned out I didn't. So I'm just going to go in and uh, remake this in Onshape, create new document. Wing profile. Uh, make sure you do this blue button and share it with my email address, jfield at dallasisd.org. Uh, but don't forget that step there. So that's step one and two. Now the st uh, third step for this assignment is to just create it. So a loft feature is a, so what we've done is we've done extrudes. We kind of haven't done a revolve yet. I'll come back to that. Uh, we, we don't need to, to create the car prototype really. Um, but that is the really good way to do a real wheel and tire as you would need it, by the way. So we've done a sweep feature and now we're going to do a loft feature. You can kind of tell from the icon that to the typical loft icon will show you a square connected to a circle top. And that's one way to think of a loft is you can kind of transform from one shape to another and in so doing create a lot of different shapes. When you create a loft, you first need to create an offset plane, like say to redo the loft that's shown right there, I would need to create a plane up above the ground plane. So I could select on that, I could say new sketch, I'll just go right for, um, I'll hit the top view here. So I could do right around feature, finish that sketch. I could select on the ground plane. I can do a new sketch down there. I could do a center point rectangle, right? Then I could select loft. What am I going to loft? You select the profiles to connect. It comes up with something for you. Okay. So you can change the shapes and you can do certain things to the loft. And this is what I wanted to show you. You can use paths or guides for continuity. And um, there's other tools in here to try and get it to work when you're having trouble. But um, that was just for practice. What I want you guys to do is in this case, so we're gonna do a wing. You can basically do a plane this way. Uh, you can almost do the whole plane. But we'll just do a wing, okay? Uh, how about we do a right side of a plane, airplane wing? So we'll, we'll pick the right plane to do our first sketch. And then I'm going to click it from the right side. We're going to use the uh, spline tool again. Uh, so in this case, I'm drawing a wing profile. So I'm going to make it something like this. Double click and then I'll make a corresponding bottom piece to this. Um, the thing to think about for a wing profile, um, like we did at that the lesson on it, is you want this nice curvature around the top and you want this relative flatness along the bottom. The only thing I'm going to change here is I'll probably move the, that point down. It should be a down a little bit further, I think. There we go. I don't know why that thing is moving out there. I'm really not sure what that is. Um, there we go. <laughs> And like my wife was, you know, my wife's car broke down on Sunday, and the shops were all closed, so she just kind of left it in the parking lot at the nearest shop because there was a problem with the transmission. She couldn't; it would just like stop and go and go in the middle, and couldn't really get up to highway speeds, so she was kind of trapped in that way. Mm. And like she spent all their money on taking a lot of things to buy, and then she got kind of. Frustrated, and then I'm 
Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just need that time to get some stuff done. I understand. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love a good warranty, man. Automotive warranties are great. Actually, so I'll show you. So this is the loft feature. You've used this feature. So um, it's really cool. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, I say that I think it's cool. But <laughs> so uh, I created this plane way over here and I'm doing a wing here, wing profile. So I started with creating the first one over here and then way over here on this one. I'm also just putting a tiny version of that. Oops. So sketch. There we go. Like the end of the wing uh, sketch. Say for like a glide. This would be more like a glider, really. Um, and then connect that. Connect that. There we go. There we go. Now you can do the loft, which will connect. Um, oh, you know what? I am not getting that as a pickable profile. So I did something wrong. It does not like this bottom sketch that I did. Um, I'm going to have to redo this one. I don't know what happened there. That's better. It's not pretty. Now you can connect that one and that one. Bam, wing. And you do a whole airplane that way. Uh, the one the other thing I'm showing the students is how to do it. So you can also do a control spline. And this is how we do a whole vehicle, essentially. So, um, so I'm going to suppress this. Sketch here. Maybe there was a, a, a in on tape, I don't know if you guys could use it, because there's only a small portion of the class that I had to substitute in for that. And I was like, I was just doing some of the training stuff. So, uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to sketch on this front plane, and I selected this and this uh, to intersect that. that intersect that plane with those sketch elements. And now I can uh, connect uh, these two elements. So I'll view it from the front here. So if I wanted to give this like a bird's, you know, contour here, and then I can double click there, I believe. Now I can change that loft. So this time I can loft it there to there and I can use a guide for continuity actually uh, I'm surprised it didn't I wonder if you change it to path if that changes it I'm gonna try that yeah that's it that's just what that's what I was really looking for you can change the path of it like that done Mm-hmm. 